Okay guys and welcome back and today we are going to be trying dun, 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 dun. Have you ever wanted a 6 in 1 multifunctional electronic facial cleansing brush spa skincare massage It's hot It has got one 5 star review and coming in at the amazing price of £1.80 Okay, so can a £1.80 face brush massaging type thing take all this makeup off, leave my face feeling refreshed, clean and what not? What we're going to be doing today is using the £1.80 facial and then going over my cleaned face with a baby wipe to see if there's any residue and no I'm not going to pussy out, I'm going to be doing my eyes, lips, face, brows, everything and I've got on that magical horseshoe, no, smudge, brows. So, does it work? Can you get a facial brush for £1.80? They normally retail at about 60 quid. I haven't got 60 quid to spend on one of these, have you? We're cheap on my channel. Okay, and for my £1.80 I got one sponge, one sponge cap, one round and edge head cap, one round cap, four point round cap, twelve point round cap, small point round cap and obviously my machine which does not include my batteries. I located the batteries. Okay, um, so this is, I can't really work out if you're supposed to clean your face with or without this because Instruction 1 just says to clean your face and then instructions 2 says to rinse your face and then instruction 3 says to put the sponge applicator on and dip it into a beauty cream and dot it. Oh, this isn't a face cleaner like a um, cream applicator etc but I'm going to use it to clean my face. I hear you all asking at home what am I going to clean my face with? What am I going to use? Well, I am allergic to most things. I just clean my face with Clearasil. So I've got one bowl with fairy up liquid in it as you can see I haven't actually swirled it around because there's not a lot of stuff in the bowl oh spillage already and then bowl two has just got plain water my theory being we're gonna zhuzh with the uh, fairy up liquid and then we're gonna rinse with the plain water I then have a towel and some baby wipes somewhere which we will then do the final test with. Now supposedly this product has been on programs like this morning for actually giving people third degree burns so my mother was not impressed when I said I brought it. So uh, let's get to the washing stage. Okay so I think we'll start with the chin area and then we'll work our way up. That makes sense doesn't it? Um, I'm going to put a hairdressing gown on because I don't want to ruin my outfit. I'm, uh, I'm shallow. Right, I'm gowned. I'm ready for my spa treatment. I think so. Because we're only washing, we get all these heads. So let's actually first go through the heads. This is a massager head. Now, listening to how it sounds on medium, I don't, I don't want to use that on my face. <laughs> this is a massager head which looks like a nipple which has an extra bit of sponge on the back which is just it's tacky and you can like I think you're supposed to stick it to the to the machine what I've decided that's what you're supposed to do that's how I'm gonna rinse I've decided um, you get one with a sponge on it which is what I'm gonna use for my washing you get like th this is what's giving people degre third degree burns like this is spikes we then get some cow udders, obviously. Would you put those on your face at intense speed? No. And then we just get the regular nipple. So let's attach the actual spongy sponge one. Which I'm guessing that's on now. You just kind of bang them on. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's get some water. Let's go. I'm gonna dip it in my water. I feel like this is gonna take ages to, to do. Right, are we ready? To the chin. Let's go high. Round motions, like they said. Okay guys, so that was the chin. I 
need to do some more work on it I understand that um, it's feeling a little bit sore but it does feel like it has been scrubbed I'm gonna now try my lips which has got on a long lasting lipstick it's not budging really so let's see if it can attack the red lipstick Okay, power up. Oh, it worked. Right. This is what my head's looking like. Now let's continue with the face. I feel like now the fairy up liquid's kind of like mixed in. It's working a lot better. I am dreading putting this over my eyes. I'm just going to do one whole side bar the chin that I did the whole chin. Kind of working. If we do like a I should have worn a thicker foundation, but you can definitely see more freckles on this side than this side. I'm on the low setting at the moment. Let's power up. Can you get electrocuted from batteries getting wet? That's what's worrying me here. Now, the eyeliner that I'm wearing is a long-lasting waterproof one, as with my eyebrows, so let's attack the brows. Oh, I can't see. Oh! It's working. My eyes are burning from having fairy up liquid in them, but it does work. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this side of my face, but it's burning. And I'm going around my eyes with it on low because I am very intimidated by this item. I don't want to die. Ow. Okay, right. The owls are from the fairy up liquid going in my eyes. Like, I don't know how safe that is. It has taken on the horseshoe oil, the head's looking a bit discoloured. I'm going to have to use my towel to clean my eye. Okay, I can see again. How are we looking? I'm looking naked. Like, working around the eye takes so long, I can't describe how long it takes. Like, I'm not going to depoint it if I haven't got all my eye makeup off because eye makeup is a bitch. Right, guys. It's one side done, one side not done. This is what my head's looking like. Um, I am going to strip the other side of my face using said device and then we can rinse. Okay, I feel like we're clean. Now to rinse. To rinse, I, um, I'm just going to put the sticky sponge on, which I would love to know how this is going to hold. <laughs> I don't see this holding. Right. Got my water bowl. There's no point in me showing it, but there's just water. Right. To rinse. Some products on it. Ah, it's starting to fall off. Okay, it's falling off. I believe in you sponge. Okay. My sponge committed suicide. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, do you know what? I'm just gonna... Right. The face is pretty clean, so let's give it a gentle massage with um, one of the weird heads. And um, I'm going to use the weird rose-shaped head for my massage before we do the baby wipe test. So let's just clip this on somehow. You know, because I've just I've professionally taken my makeup off. I just I want a massage now. So let's... Oh, that feels nice. On low. Doesn't actually feel... Ah, okay. Forehead. Listen to that noise. It's hurt until it hits bone. And then it really hurts. Um, it's nice down here, where it's like, chubby cheeks. But, like, on bone, it, it really hurts. Let's just test them all. So now we're going to test this one. Okay, so this one kind of feels a bit like it's kind of maybe filing my skin. I feel like any spots that haven't come up are going to be so agitated by this process. They're... Listen to my head. Oh. I'll put it on high on my forehead once. You can hear it on the bone. Ah! Let's try the devil one. This is the one that I believe would actually give you like burns and tears on your face on high. I would never use this on my neck in a million years and this is going to literally rip open all of my little spots and I know it will. So let's go. 
I'm um, like you can kind of see them starting to come up a bit. Like I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Let's try the udders. The udders we can go all over the face with. I feel like my udders are on. My face does hurt a little bit, and it is quite warm there. So I might not udder that bit. I'm gonna give that bit a break. Udders medium. I just feel nice. I just don't feel too bad. They hurt on your head. But I suppose if you were dispersing cream and you wanted to get the cream into all the crevices, then yeah, I kind of do understand it. Like, I'm just using it with water because I don't use the face cream, but I get it. Udders were okay. I, I understand why people would use it. Let's try the nipple. And with the nipple, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to go all over my nose where everyone gets blackheads. And um, I want to see what it does. We're going to go in medium first. This is just massaging. Right, okay. I'm going to give you a close-up of my face now that I've just used my device. I mean, I'm really worried about what's happened here, but what are you going to do? Okay, so it does actually work. Um, we're going to do the clean face test in a minute. Um, like my face does feel soft I feel like it has maybe got rid of all the dead skin which is good I mean this was £1.80 if you do use a lot of creams you're into vibrators even you know like even with not a head on it feels like it would disperse a cream really well um I can't complain I think this thing's awesome I don't think I would use it to actually take my makeup off because that took quite a while. Um, I'll put here just how long that took me to actually get all of my makeup off. Right guys, the time has come. So we know it didn't get all my makeup off and I wasn't really expecting it to but did it get off the foundation? So yeah, it got off most of the makeup. There's there's not a lot left. Um, but my face does feel smoother. I can't say that it doesn't. I'm so impressed with how smooth my face feels. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, that would be epic. And hopefully I will see you next time.